I'm Claire Smith-Warner. I'm Director of Spirits Education for Moat Hennessy. And we're here to um, present Belvedere's Relearn Natural uh, program for, for this year. So our naturalist program is really about understanding what natural means today. Um, how can we create great drinks using less? In a way, redefining what natural means for our consumers for Belvedere. So Ali Didienko is our Global Education Director. I'm uh, Ali Didienko, I'm the Global Director of Education for Belvedere Vodka and we are here to talk about naturalness. Today uh, we are going to be talking naturalness, we're going to be showing uh, the bartender's uh, presentation that we've worked very hard on. Uh, we are working with uh, Tristan Stevenson and Ryan Chetty. Ryan and Tristan are going to kind of bring it to life. So my name is Ryan Chetty Wardner, or Mr. Lion, and we're here in Dandelion, my place, one of my places in London, uh, which is quite fitting because we're here to talk about naturalness. I mean, I'm very honoured to be talking alongside Claire and, and Tristan. Okay, my name is Tristan Stevenson. I'm the director of Fluid Movement. I'm also a writer, so I write books as well. We're talking about naturalness, which is a pretty broad subject, and we've got a lot to say about it. Mostly say So what we're really looking at today is the history of the word natural. Natural is a word that no one really knows how to define. It's a word that's overused and underqualified. She and I are going to be talking about it from Belvedere's perspective, while the guys are going to really be talking about it from a drinks perspective. Ryan and Tristan's message is how can we, um, how can we use modern botany to really communicate quality cocktails, quality ingredients. It's really kind of very similar to what we do here in the bar. It's based on botany. It's looking at kind of how we can use natural flavours to, to get the most from our cocktails, to, to really get the most from our food as well. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter if we are eating things that are unnatural um, and what are the benefits of eating things that are natural. We're going to be looking at how the brain and the sensory system perceives that stuff. Um, we're going to also taste some delicious drinks that uh, are made using natural ingredients. Looking again at how you can extract some of those kind of richer notes from a set of botanicals. We're also going to have a tasting of our hero serve which is the spritz. A simple, um, elegant, refreshing cocktail using very, very natural ingredients. Um, and yeah, just chatting all things natural. We are trying to define this word. Why does it have no meaning, really, today? And it's a celebration of authenticity of flavour, and I think we'll see that throughout the tasting and throughout um, Tristan and Ryan's cocktails as well. So we're really talking about how, you know, the sources of nature, how we can look to it to really find inspiration and also find kind of truer flavours that we can then reflect in, in what we create. <laughs> <laughs>